Queen's uh, University Ionic Liquid Laboratories, Quill, has a long-standing reputation for ionic liquid research. It is an interdisciplinary center where people from chemical engineering, chemistry, and materials engineering as well as mechanical and aerospace engineering come together to tackle critical challenges. What's uh, distinct in our research is that we apply our knowledge on ionic liquids uh, to the transition towards uh, renewable energies. Particular focus of our research is uh, how ionic liquids can be used in the recovery of critical metals, in particular from uh, batteries or from end-of-life magnets. Rare earth metals are critical components for the transition to renewable energy. At the moment, the recycling rates of those metals are very low. We have developed a uh, patented environmentally benign method based on ionic liquid technology to separate these rare earth metals. By recycling these metals, we avoid some of the mining and uh, therefore we reduce the carbon footprint in the supply chain. So we have spun out the idea into commercialization as we speak, uh, being transformed into a pilot plant and uh, next year into a demonstration plant. As we transition away from fossil fuels, we need to look at forms of energy storage that take care of the fact that renewable energy is intermittent. Lithium-ion batteries have a number of drawbacks, uh, such as their limited shelf life of five to seven years, and the second one is that they rely on critical metals, such as lithium, cobalt, nickel. So we explore in our research uh, redox flow batteries, and they have certain advantages, such as a very long uh, lifetime of 20 to 25 years, and they can store large amounts of energy in the electronic. Through our research using 3D printing to facilitate the experimentation, we've seen that we have significantly improved performance with the flow batteries and extended durability of our electrolytes. Current commercially available flow batteries use vanadium as a chemical element of their source. Vanadium is quite rare and expensive, so eventually we will run out of vanadium as a source. 3D printing allows us the freedom of design allows us to create new, open source, robust redox flow batteries that can be used as energy storage systems for renewable energies. What Queens in our collaborative research were developing a new form of electrolyte which uses iron which is plentiful and cheap. We also believe that the new iron-based electrolytes will deliver potentially better performance with better durability and obviously at a better commercial rate. So this is uh, a good example of how we approach things at Quill by bringing together complementary expertise from engineering to material science to chemistry. The collaboration has been invaluable in terms of the research. It brings together experts in different fields and allows us to use our resources at Queen's far better than if we worked individually.